Welcome back to the live stage at C2E2. I'm Angelique Roche, the host of Sci-Fi Wire's Geeks Plane. And you know what? I just gotta get right to it because I am on stage with two of the greatest superheroes. Wow, wow. And we are on stage with Angelique Roche, host of Geeks Plane and a personal hero of ours. Aww. Give it up. My day is made, it's done, the panel's over, no. Good night, thanks for coming, night. Chicago! Thanks. You had a great. Let's go listen to some blues. Woo! So, we have Felinda on stage with us today. Felinda hold on, hold on. Craig. Okay. Aww. Now it's Felinda. Hey, don't you, you, wait, 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 your body away. language, your body language oh, has to be okay, this way. Okay, thank you. You're making but, but, everyone's day right now. This is all they've ever wanted. So this is what happened in Tahiti. I got it. I got it. Time's up. <laughs> yes, yes. And the amazing Ming Na. Hi. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Sit down. Deserved. So, you're on this show, Marvel's Agents of Shield. Yes. It's coming back. Finally. Do you know the exact date? It's coming back in May. I do, but I can't tell you. Oh. So all we get to say is May. May. Yes. It's in... May. May. It's gotta be... What was that song from Justin Timberlake? Oh, it's gonna be May, yeah. We have some singers in the front row. Come on up. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, look. You look out into the crowd, and I just see some damn Loki horns. I know, it's... it's, it's yeah. a lot of people. <laughs> if anybody just feels like tearing that person to pieces, it's okay. He's not over it yet, Loki. I can Loki. get you out of it. I mean, there's a little trauma there. As guardian bastard. There's a little trauma there. So, it's not a secret. I am a huge fan of both of you. Thank you. I am a huge fan of Felinda. Um, and one of the things I love is that finally we get some Tahiti time at the end of last season. Turns out, pretty magical. <laughs> Too so, easy. <laughs> and both of you have been part of the show for so long. Like, what so has long. been... Since the late 1970s. Yeah, yeah. I hear it's, it was, you know, it's been a journey. Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. What has been the best part of being part of such a successful show with such a great cast? Go ahead. Oh, I'll gosh. give you a hint. It's, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Working that just cost me $600. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. <laughs> okay. For every con. season. Everybody's every prices season. go up at no. the con. Okay. I mean, you got to go for rate of inflation here. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to try to be mature. It's never going to happen. Um, <laughs> no one asked you it's to be. Been, um, it's been an amazing journey for a lot of reasons. The main reason, I think, is because the show was literally born because of fans. I asked them on the Avengers set when I was soaked in blood, like, you want to do a take where I'm just kind of wounded a little? I mean, they were like, no, no, we're good. And, um, and so Coulson was really dead, and it was really just because there was this hashtag Coulson Lives movement on the Twitter. I think I see a few of the original members here today uh, that they decided to have a TV show and to kind of suddenly find ourselves with this new family yeah. suddenly on a television show for Marvel, which was a first seven years ago, um, and then to have gone on this incredible ride and to get so close. We're, it's not always like that, but we, through, through the journey, Ming, Chloe, Elizabeth, yeah. Ian, even what's his name, Brett, um, <laughs> we love each other, and um, it's really been a great ride. Yeah. yeah. That's one of my favorite things about getting to interview different cast members, because it really is a family. Um, well, I mean, we spend time with each other a lot of times more than our own family, because, you know, we work 15-hour days, and it, it, it's so incredible to have a cast where we do get along and we have fun and we have an incredible crew and amazing bosses you know our eps our executive producers are incredible the writers so it, it is very much uh the sense of community and family and and you know and then this you know the fans that they you you're our extended family and you're part of the whole i gotta say i've maybe never been to a con 
where I saw so much great S.H.I.E.L.D. cosplay, S.H.I.E.L.D. representation. So thanks, it really felt amazing. Oh, look, there's that one t-shirt. Colson lives. Love it. So speaking of family, and obviously a family mourns, we had a loss last season. Well, we had a couple losses last season, but Let's someone is really gone. Uh, Colson is, Colson is gone. And I gotta ask, the trailer oh, came out, he? and there is a lot of happy people out there, because there was a teaser in that trailer. Somehow, Clark Gregg is still there. I'm happy about it. That was not a, that was not a ding. You're like a cat. <laughs> so, how, I know you can't say much, but how has it been coming back to the show? Because Colson is such a key core role. Like the, the show exists centers around Colson and now you're back but you're not Colson question mark I'm getting a call I got a <laughs> um, you know I actually felt the end of season five the last episode was called the end and we were saying goodbye and Colson had burned through spoiler alert if you're not caught up by now you should be sorry um, Colson had burned through whatever Tahitian magic um, Cree blood he had by being Ghost Rider, sorry, another spoiler, you should be caught up. And, um, <laughs> and he was clearly terminal. And uh, so we shot that last episode thinking we were probably done as a show and saying goodbye. And honestly, shooting some of those scenes, we didn't even, we didn't even rehearse them because nobody could get through them because we love each other. And we were crying. I Just mean, we were literally start crying. Yeah. We were a mess. And so it really felt like a good ending. And then they found out they were coming back. And I thought, well, good, good. You guys are ready to fly without me. And you know, I don't, wouldn't blame you. And um, and then they came up with another amazing idea. And I got to say, our writers, MCU takes what they want, and they kind of leave us whatever's left, and the writers tear it all down and go, yeah, guess what? We're doing LMD's Ghost Rider and the framework this year. And um, I can't even talk about what we're about to do. But uh, they, did, they came up with another pitch where I went, well, we think you're dead, but we think you might still be on the show. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm curious. And, uh, and they gave us a pitch, and in that trailer you see half the team in space looking for the uh, cybernetically, or no, the, what's it called? Cryogenically frozen. Thank you, I knew it was a C. I gotcha. It's been a long day. <laughs> Cryogenically frozen fits on that timeline out in space. They're out there fighting every alien who might know where he is. And the other half of the team's here dealing with a very strange anomaly where humanoid beings are appearing and they seem mega evil how are you able to say so much and still not give away anything it's a lot of practice that was so impressive that's, that's so a impressive. lot of practice that was i'm so good i'm just staring in awe i know i was like i was like yeah yeah and i'm, I'm waiting i'm, wait, I'm waiting for him to slip, up. slip. And but he no, doesn't. they find this evil person who looks weirdly a lot like me, huh. and he has a weird evil girlfriend. Spoiler alert: who looks? No, that's not true. I mean, <laughs> that's that. I ship that dark couple. Okay. I was actually gonna ask. Like, I mean, it may not be Coulson, but it looks like Coulson. She likes the bad boy. Ming-Na likes it. I don't oh, think she likes no, him this no, bad. Ming -Na, May. I'm sorry, May. May, May likes May. <laughs> The other part, didn't, I didn't say that. <laughs> but, but it is a year later. Like, where do we, like, in the trailer, we see some butt-kicking. We see some awesome fights. You know, where do we find the team at this point in this healing process? I, I'm afraid to say anything because I know I'll slip up. So, but uh, you, it's... I'll, I'll tell you, people are grieving. Yeah. 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 People are grieving. He's gone. They're moving on. Yeah. And yet, you know, the world of supervillains doesn't really slow down. Am I right, people? Thank you. I know. I know. Yeah. They don't come to Chicago because they know better. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like I want to ask how this has affected May, but you're only going to look at me and be like, I don't... I don't know. Talk about well, it. Talk no, about I, your grief. I heard it's profound. It is so deep <laughs> and so painful. I, I, I can't relive it. You've I mean, lost the love of your life. I, well, May has lost the love of yes. her and, life. You know, and just at that moment when they finally can get okay, Next to, question. Next yeah. question. And then your ex walks in and it's just like, what just happened? Uh, you thought happened? I was going to say something naughty, huh? Oh. Why would I ever think that? 
after seven years of going I like this. I could just sit here for the next 15 minutes. I didn't think I could be shocked until happen. I worked with Ming. It's mostly adults here. Oh, hi. No, it's kid. not. Hi, it's not. Hi, kids. It's not. How you doing, kids? Good to see ya. And that's how we got kicked out of C2E2. <laughs> okay. So you make a really, really good point, Clark. Like, you, the, the Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. has tackled everything. LMDs, they have tackled framework, they have... What are you most... Hydra, Hive. Yeah, go, go for it. Um, with, with the Shadow Shield, we had, we had yeah. the original crossover with Winter Soldier when S.H.I.E.L.D. turned out to be rotten. We saw a screening, we didn't know what our show was going to be called anymore. <laughs> After that, what a, like, and everything else we can't talk about. <laughs> well, is there anything in particular you are that you can say? Well, it's, it's really difficult also for me because we shot season six quite a while ago, and it hasn't. Oh, excuse me, my daughter's calling. Hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> we shot season I mean, six. You want to talk to her? Real quick. Yeah. Hey, honey, hi, honey. I'll call you right back. <laughs> I'm, I'm on stage right now. I love you. Did you get to New York okay? Okay. She can, okay, uh, I love you. I hope she doesn't tell you shocking right now. Slash con. No, I quit school. Watch live. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Turn that we off. shot season six. Oh, it's in the can. And it was weird because it wasn't on, so we haven't... I directed the first one. Yes, he did. 601. It's big. It's big and wild yeah. and badass, and it'll be on and in May. So, I mean, he's not just director Coulson, uh, but he's a great director. That's very director. Sweet. It's um, can't wait. That's coming. That's so that's coming. But we haven't even seen any of the episodes. I saw that one because I, I edited it. Edit. I can't talk. Um, yeah. So but, we haven't seen that season, and now we're shooting seventh season. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. And then we do the movie. <gasps> you guys got to keep at Marvel. Okay. Get them. But how has it been? Like, and I think that's something that's really, really cool is that you've also been behind the camera. How has that been? Like, what has been the best part of being able to see the story from a different, literally from a different angle? Um, I resisted it because it's a, it's a lot just to try to get the fights. The cool thing about our show is we're not just like, okay, dust for prints. We dust for prints, but then we search for aliens and then we do a fight scene and then we do crazy visual effects. So we get to do a lot of fun stuff. And I hadn't done a lot of that. And just doing our own stuff, it's a lot. Um, so I finally did one and it was so much fun, but it's, it's such a trust exercise. These guys, the amazing actors we have, they have to kind of like, Okay, what do you want? What do you want us to do? And I've, they do tease me an awful lot, um, but it's an it's an amazing thing. The the technology is evolving so fast that even the look of our show, when you see what's coming up in season six, it's completely different than what was possible even season four. Yeah. So kind of staying current with that stuff, uh, it's really fun to get to play in that. And and it's great, you know, because. A lot of times we have these directors that come in and they're new to the show or new to... It's just so great to start off the season, you know, with Clark. I mean, he's, you know, he's the encyclopedia of not just our show, but Marvel. And, and it's just fun to see him getting so excited. He's like a kid in a candy store. And, uh, and, and it and was you're just... my candy. Hey, baby. <laughs> Kids, kids. What? That wasn't bad till you did that. I mean, he's got a pocket full of Smarties. It's it totally fine. was. It totally was. Well, and I think that that brings up a question I promised to ask because, speaking of, um. I promised, <clears throat> which has nothing to do with it. I was just leading in just to make you nervous. Um, everybody wants to know. Here's the thing. Both of you have had amazing, wonderful, g funny careers. We have to know. Neither one of you age. How? How, Sway? How have you not aged? What is your face care regime? Everybody out there wants to know. Regime? Even if they didn't think they want to know, now they actually want to know. It's all her. No. She's got this She's magical about of you? power. No, yeah, no. and I looked like 75 years you old till I started hanging around with her, <laughs> and I just absorbed it. I will say, she, it's amazing. No. No. She's 61, and she just looks... Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... I gotta say, we look really youthful until we start to warm up for a fight scene. Oh my god! <laughs> and then it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh. um, that was actually.
actually my next question. How do you prep for training? Because in, in addition to the technology changing over the seasons, the fight scenes have gotten incredibly intense. And uh, Phil Coulson has consistently been a bad, like we understand, like Ming, like we, we know that you are just, like day one, season Woo! one, I was just like, I wanna watch her fight everybody, even if there's not a fight. I mean, honestly, what I love about our show, honestly, is that, yeah, I get to scrap a little bit, but everybody knows the two baddest asses on our show are Chloe and Ming. And the, to see these professional fight people who've just come off the Marvel movies, watch either one of them run through a fight and see them afterwards, like, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, it's amazing to watch. It's really fun to direct. Like, there's a great fight scene in the first one I did in season five with her. Even she's wounded. Because she really was wounded. I mean, it takes a toll. She you, she tore an ACL. Yes, I, I have a new ACL now. Some cleaned up meniscus in there is yeah. good. But you you know you had your share of injuries too. We definitely we won't talk about that. No, we can. I tore we my can. bicep in the second bicep. episode. Yeah, had to be uh, flown flown on a Disney jet to the magical man who puts your limbs back together, and that was very nice. Yeah. Um, that's we really never work. worked it's, out for Colson, so I'm very interested how the story went. Yeah. yeah. Magical no, it, people it, putting you back together. Life imitates <laughs> art all day long <laughs> in this yeah. world. Yeah, completely. So what does training look like? Is this like... Because I feel hard. like... It's hard yeah. because our show, it's, it's not like the cinematic universe of Marvel where the actors sometimes can have like three months to five months to train. And, it's a marathon. You know, like, like Captain Marvel, which this guy was also <laughs> amazing at. You know, I mean, literally, sometimes we go from a, a hiatus break of two months, we come back in, and it's like, okay, next episode, tomorrow, you get to do this fight scene, so we'll rehearse it today, and then you shoot it tomorrow. So it's basically like, we just start doing a marathon the next day. Um, and, and it's really important that we work hard at maintaining and, you know, constantly working on our own. Um, so that we could we could just you know jump into these fight scenes, yeah. It's not it's not easy sometimes, but we so, love it. So Clark, I know you have a pocket full of Smarties. We're not going to throw them to the audience. That yes, sounds we terrible, will. but I actually do have a pocket full of Smarties. See, I was ooh, that did. And come I'm happy up. to see all of you. <laughs> <laughs> but I also know. Mingna, you were giving gifts out to folks who were cosplayed as yes. any of your characters, mini, because you have many. Right, right. Mini well, characters. I mean, it's because I'm such a nerd and a geek girl, and it's been so fun. Again, like life imitating art, art imitating life. I've gotten to be Chung Li in Street Fighter Woo! and uh, Mulan. Woo! And, uh, um, you know, so it's it's a lot of fun to be able to see such varied uh, people in in these roles that I've played and. Uh, it's, it's, it's fun to reward that effort, I think. I also just have an image of you singing Disney songs on stage between fight scenes now. Uh-oh. You're looking at me very seriously like this is something that actually happens, though. Mm. Me? Both no, her. <laughs> She's singing. No, you. You. I, you break into song. I was in Beauty and the Beast, and now I can tell you. I was the Beast. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, no, there's no, not... Don't break, break it. Chloe can sing. Can yeah. you sing? I can sing. Turns out Ming can sing better than Chloe, probably, but, right? But I don't want to sing. Yeah. <laughs> She's right like, now. do not ask me to do that. Yeah. Please don't ask no. me to do that. Yeah. So I know we've got season seven on, on, on the way. You can't tell us anything about season six, unless and you'd like to. We can't tell you anything about season seven. <laughs> we're not even sure if we can say we're shooting season seven, apparently. I think I already said that. So. Oh, you did? Oh, I'm no, pretty no. sure. The flurkin is out of the bag. <laughs> nice, you said flurkin. But what we can do is we can play a game. Uh -oh. Okay. Suck it. it is a lovely, interesting game called Roll for a Question. Oh, what? Roll for a Question? Roll for a Question. Okay. So you roll the dice, or die. Okay. And Ladies first or, or <coughs> actor first? Please. Do it. Go for it. Flurkin. <laughs> eleven. All right. So question number eleven. 
In board games, are you go with the flow or are you I will flip this board over right now? Ooh, I'm, uh, board I don't flipper, feel like board flipper. You would flip the board. I flip I the board. Wow. No, I'm go with the flow. It's always the quiet ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody calls me that. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Um. Do we really have that many minutes left? Two. Yes, but it'll be fine. Um, if you were fighting crime, would you banter with the criminals or are you more of a silent punching type? Say it again. If you were fighting crime, which you do fight crime on your show, uh, would you banter with criminals or are you more of the silent punching type? Well, May is definitely the silent punching type. This is true. Yeah. I'd run, <laughs> personally. I'm more of a banter than punch. Uh-huh. Kind of went just when you've kind of lulled them into something with the banter, you, and then run. Always running. All right, we'll do one more question each and then you're off the hook. No more, I'm trying to keep you from telling secrets. Okay. But I would like, if, is it possible to uh, go off script a little bit? Yes, do you what want I would to like go to do off is script? I'd like to know, and please don't get up, or it'll be all over, but do can it. I ask if anybody has any questions? Yes. Uh, sir, oh, do you have good. a question? I'll come to you. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. I have well, a here question. we go. Um, who's your biggest motivation in the Marvel Universe when it comes down to playing your roles? That's a great question. What's your name? My name is Paul from the South Side of Chicago. Go oh, on. South Side. Go on, touch. Okay, Ming, what's your answer? My, my... Uh, I'll give you a hint. Is it my inspiration or my desire? What, your inspiration. What was the Who inspires you in the Marvel Universe? It's a great wow. question. Don't blow it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Damn. I feel like you're rooting uh, for someone. I would someone. say Black Widow, for sure. Yeah. Okay, mine too. Mine too. You got a question, sir? <laughs> yeah. Besides uh, Rope My Badge? Okay, don't do that, sir. Not until after the Q&A. Uh, Shield has a very diverse cast a bunch of diverse people running it and they've defended equality like with the inhumans with a lot of other things however at every step of the way shield has also lost their authority they've lost like their government mandate from hydra when they got it back they lost it over the inhumans you noticed that huh <laughs> <laughs> So I was wondering, what's your feelings in portraying a government agency that does treat people fairly, um, but loses its authority in the shadow of the Black Lives Matter movement? Wow. Wow. Woo! Loaded question, but I'm loving it. Ming, you want to take that one? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hear the question. Okay. <laughs> it's one of the things that's been the, the case in Marvel for a long time but also that's been a really big part of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is the team, the cast, is supposed to look like the world. And uh, right now, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. is Mac McKenzie. Before that, it was Daisy. And I think it's something that's always been the case in the comics, is that we're dealing with the reality, but also trying to project something aspirational. And justice is what we're after, and I don't think you can uh, aspire to justice without representing it on screen. Okay? Take a shot. And yes. I, think, oh. I think that's what's so great about the Marvel Universe is that um, all, the, all their stories are so, so much based on human uh, issues and, and I think that's why it's so relatable to so many people because it's about, you know, the humanitarian efforts of becoming your own legend. Yeah, girl. That's a t-shirt. Um, hold on. Pass it down to her. What was your favorite episode um, of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Ming-Na Wen? The very first one, because that's what started the whole ball game. Smart answer. <laughs> the very first one? Yes, Sonny. I love Killing Ward. Okay, thank you so very much. Killing Ward. Here. Aww. <laughs> Brett doesn't hear this, right? Okay, um, do you and Chloe have the same relationship off screen as you do on screen? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, do Chloe and I have the same... Oh, you heard that because it was a mic. Duh. Um, yeah, it's very similar. It's very similar. She, uh, one time I was out of town, and uh, I couldn't go to one of my daughter's performances, and she showed up like a sister and, um, and stood in for us. She's a great person, and she was 19 when we started, and uh, I love her like nobody's business. 
One sec. We need to go to this side. We need to go to this side. Got nothing? No questions over here? You, young lady? Nope. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, we have I'm time for one more. One more I, question. I think Clark has a new uh, career. I really I like, like doing this. this. I'm not going to lie. I can lay back and let, let Clark be... do moderation all the time. Okay, so if you could give your characters any advice on how to like not die, not get injured, etc., <laughs> what would that advice be? <laughs> Find a different show. Maybe... <laughs> that was very good advice. Do you have any advice? You're, well, actually, you don't How not die. to get killed you've or injured. Very you've been very close, but you've been injured pretty... May has been injured pretty roughly. No, that pretty much says it all. Get a new show. That's not action Okay, based. that was a fast one. Gwen? How much fun was Captain Marvel? How much fun was Captain Marvel? I mean, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Driving around L.A. with Sam, being in a fight. Okay, I don't want to say any more because... In case you haven't seen it. And why wasn't Ming in it? I don't know. I fought with everybody daily. I guess it was a 90s thing. She would have looked too young. <laughs> well, I want to thank Clark Craig and thank you so much. so much for being the best panel. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thanks so much for coming. And make sure you are staying tuned. We do have some more content coming up very shortly.